Well, I'm all set up in my downstairs lair now for the winter. It's too cold out in the garage to work too much, so um, one of the things I've been working on here recently is this Senecor TF166 transistor analyzer. This will do bipolar and FET transistors both. Bought this off of eBay for like nine bucks. Of course. Like they always say, works perfectly. Well, not quite. First thing I did with this thing is I recapped it, which surprisingly, um, the caps that were in here. This the build date on this thing is literally 112 of 73. So this thing's 40 years old, almost 41 years old. And believe it or not, each one of the um, electrolytic capacitors in this thing tested good with every method I can use. Now one thing I can't do yet, at least not with the lower voltage capacitors like these are, this what this is what was in there. I think the highest voltage capacitor there was maybe like a 35 volt and there was one in there that was a, as low as a 6 volt. But um, I have no way of testing them for leakage quite yet. I'm going to build something this winter to do that. But ever since I got this thing it was intermittent. Um, I'd hook a transistor up and whoop, this thing's gonna fall over. <laughs> Hit the gain button and sometimes it would work, sometimes it wouldn't, sometimes it would start to work and then it would quit. So I did some investigating around here. I think I, I think I found out what the problem is. We'll see here in a second. I had it working pretty consistently before I turned the camera on, but it'll probably get camera shy and quit working again. But I've got the instruction manual there and it tells you how to do the calibration for the um, for the gain adjustment the transistor beta calibration so that's what I've been doing here um, turn this thing on it's gonna be kinda hard to do with this camera I'll have to kinda hold this camera with the other hand and hit the gain button and hope it doesn't fall over but Oh, see it's I knocked it over now it's getting it's intermittent again but anyways I think what's going on here this connector right here <clears throat> I've got labeled 1b um, goes to the actually it goes to the zero pot not to the gain control um, I couldn't get it to work until I basically pulled that thing up and down about 10 times and got it just right um, I'm gonna shut the camera off so I can't do this with both hands and see if I can't get this going again and I'll show you the calibration procedure if I can it's pretty touchy I'm gonna have to somehow fix that I don't know if I'm gonna just maybe solder the wires right to the post and shrink to them or what this was kind of designed for quick production that's why it's plugged rather than they probably had these harnesses pre-made somewhere else in the factory and just plug the thing in and go but I'll be back here in a second well it looks as though it might have been a bit premature on thinking this would that was a problem um, definitely intermittent somehow I should have probably brought my tripod down and set this on maybe I'll go get it but what's this display here as I kind of bump this thing around I don't know if there's a, somewhere there's a break in the circuit board or a bad solder joint you can see it's awful hard to do holding this camera but you can see as I move that around see all that circuit board kind of flexes back and forth well whatever is happening there it's making that it's breaking I thought it was that 1B connector there but apparently not so somewhere in there maybe it's right at the switch itself or maybe it's up here because you can see this flexes a little bit too. Somewhere I've got an intermittent connection. I just need to find it. I'll probably get my magnifier light, 
get right down on there see if I can find any solder joints that are broken but when you get this just right I can bring it right into calibration so I think it's a decent functional unit it's just a matter of finding that intermittent problem somewhere in here while I'm in here let me show you the <coughs> that back in there is a 741 op amp which this is 1973 this would have been probably one of the earlier applications of that and look at the IC socket they got that in well it's not really a socket it's just those um, push pins I thought that was kind of interesting and actually what I probably ought to do maybe is unseat it from that and seat it back in maybe we got something going on there but you can see the caps that I put in here which probably didn't need it but that's something I always do especially something like this is 40 years old I always try and put brand new electrolytics in it I just save problems in the long run it's not like I'm gonna take this thing and put it together and use it anymore just as a novelty it's just more of a exercise and troubleshooting than anything but I, know, I just thought I'd show you this here now well, take a look at this I found out the problem and if you can see that I'm trying to do this through the magnifier but I've got a broken solder joint right there on this end pin. Uh, if you can see it better without the magnifying glass or not. But yeah, look at that. That's why every time I flex this general area, this thing would work and then it wouldn't. And if you look across here, I've got a couple more in here too, which happens to be this connector that I thought was the problem which it wasn't I started looking down through here and man the soldering is horrible on this thing I'm really kind of disappointed this being a Cinecore <clears throat> they're supposed to be some of the top of the line stuff but I don't know 1973 maybe this is what you got but I'm going to go through I'm not going to do it tonight it's getting kind of late I'll render this and post it tonight and then part do part two sometime this week but I'm gonna re-solder most of the solder joints in both of these boards I mean just look for example look at that right there I mean basically all it is just a blob of solder around the wire and this whole thing's like that I think I'm gonna individually pull each board out re-solder if not every joint nearly every joint and see if that makes the thing reliable and also on this top upper board I found some joints that were also cracked you see them right there it's kind of hard to tell but you know right there there's one if you look across here I'll kind of pan across here fairly slowly you can see cracks all along here so yeah um, I might end up having a decent working unit here now between recapping it and resoldering most of the solder joints on this thing. So that, this may end up having a reasonably satisfying end to it. Um, but like I said, I'll post this tonight and then I don't know when I'll get back to this, whether it'll be tomorrow night or maybe not till this weekend. And <clears throat> whenever I do get back to it, then I'll show you the uh, calibration procedure see if we can get this thing reasonably accurate at least to 1973 standards and I don't know, I'll be back